to the Arch Cyclery vlog. I'm Brad and today I'm going to show you how to prepare your road bike for winter time. So the best way to do that, we're going to start with a few, a few products. You don't have to do a full overhaul, obviously, but it's good to have a few basic things. First basic thing you're going to want to have is going to be a good set of winter tires. These are the Schwalbe DD. DD stands for double defense. The nice thing about these tires is they're fairly lightweight at 225 grams. They've got a radial casing, um, which keeps them nice and supple. But then they've got the uh, Schwalbe snakeskin fabric that goes from bead to bead. So they're going to be really resistant against um, punctures from rocks in the sidewall. And they have a really, really uh, dense guard across, from the, across the tread patch at the top. So these are going to be a great tire for winter time. Um, they just they, they hold up real well against the rocks and anything else you're going to encounter. Next, you're going to want to change your cables. Now, it's really good if you can afford it to go with a, uh, a sealed cable system. Uh, Gore designed the Ride-On Professional cable system for road bikes. And uh, this is a completely sealed system, both brakes and shifters. Um, it uses compressionless housing for both brakes and shifters so you get a real crisp feel and then it totally seals off your cables from any road debris, water, grime, anything that could slow down and mess with your shifting performance is going to be um, a non-issue with a sealed cable system like the Gore Pro systems here. Once you've got your cables done, the next step is to increase your stopping power. Um, anybody who's ridden in the wet knows that um, typically normal brake pads don't do so well in the wet, um, wet weather. So um, the Swiss Stop uh, GHP2 compound pads, it's the green pad, these work amazing in the wet, in the wet weather. Um, they don't do a, they're, they're good for summertime um, in the dry. I mean, they're, they're great stopping pads anyways, but in the wet weather, when, when your rims get real wet with the rain or whatever, um, these are really going to help slow you down. Um, I've definitely noticed a, a big difference since putting these on and riding in the rain. Um, it's just a great way to have that extra security knowing you're going to stop in time for that stop sign or that next corner um, with these pads. So if you're riding at all in the wet, make sure you get some good green uh, GHP2 pads. And then lastly, you're going to want to probably change up your lube. Um, wet weather requires different lubing than uh, the dry weather, especially for your chain. So this is the Formula D chain blood. It's a thicker um, kind of an oil lube and it's, it's perfect for your chain in the wet weather. It'll really last. I've noticed that it lasts um, quite a while even through wet riding and um, times when you know, you're, you're going through a lot of puddles and whatnot. Um, this, this lube has really held up and kept my chain quiet in spite of, uh, in spite of the water getting at it and um, drying things out. So this is a good lube. It's going to help keep, uh, keep anything from getting corroded. And uh, so check that out. It's the Formula D chain blood. And all these are, are really good ways to prep your road bike for winter time. Thanks again. I'm Brad with Arts Cyclery. If you have any questions, you can email me at brad at artcyclery.com or uh, feel free to call us. And uh, that's it for this week's vlog.